Terry Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So now I want to figure out what I am, what position I'm ranking for in Etsy search. So that is, first off, you can do it for just by checking. So I'm going to go with planners and organizers because that seems like something that I would like to rank for. And I'm coming down here. Don't forget, these guys are ads, right? Um, coming down, coming down, coming down. Okay, and my blogging planner is right there, and I have an ad right here. So that blogging planner is definitely coming up. Now, I'm not sure I want my blog planner <laughs> to come up as planners and organizers. So that was page one. Don't forget, Etsy tries to spread out um, the different shops. So I want to see if any of my other listings are on page two. Um, let's go down. I don't see any on page two. I haven't SEO'd for that keyword, so it doesn't surprise me that it isn't there. Um, okay, so something that might be a little bit more helpful is business planner, which I have SEO'd for. Let's do that, business planner. So there's my realtor business planner. That's a good one. That's in an ad, okay? And so let's see. Okay, direct sales planner is coming up on page one. And then page two, that came up in an ad. And then the realtor business planner is coming up on page two. And now my regular business planner is coming up on page three. So I have a nice mix of those. But where, the, so that took a little bit, right? <laughs> so I actually, and then I would have to write it down and figure it out and all that. So I actually use Marmalade for this. Um, so let's do business planner. Okay. And we're going to see where my listings rank. And I am going to say include only mine. So three of them rank for that. So I have number page one, number 26, page two, number 57, and page three, number 96. So those are all things that I absolutely want to try to rank higher for, okay? Um, that is something that I would want to rank actually for this one more than I would for this one because this is more general. If somebody's searching for a direct sales planner, let's see where we're at. Direct sales planner. Okay. It's coming up. And only mine, which is good. There should only be one there. And I am number three on page one. So that's really good. Uh, some other things that you could do with this is kind of look at what your competition is, things like that. But really, I'm just trying to figure out that um, where I rank because I feel like that's a really good indication of what I should be focusing on. Um, here's some other keywords. These are ideas from the internet, not so much from uh, Etsy. And I think that that like as we found out with planners and organizers, let's see what that looks like. Um, that, that really Etsy is its own little microcosm of words. And so if you're trying to rank within Etsy, I'm going to say only mine, only mine. And the blog planner, blogging planner. So I must only have that in blogging planner because that's the only one that comes up. And I really feel like some of my other planners would definitely be, um, appropriate. I'll tell you why they don't rank right now is because they are not in my description, my title, or my keywords. So we can want to rank for whatever we want, but if we don't actually consciously do things to try to rank for some of these key keywords, we're not going to do it. And that's where knowing the data really makes a difference. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.